Now to the story of Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito, the flags outside of his house, and the question of whether they are appropriate for a justice ruling on the interests of those who also fly those flags and the causes they support. We'll start at the beginning. Last week, the New York Times published photos of an inverted U.S. flag at Alito's Virginia home in 2021, not long after the Capitol riot. The symbol is used by those who wrongly believe the election was stolen from Donald Trump. Alito denied any involvement and said his wife raised it after a dispute with neighbors. This week, the New York Times obtained photos of the Appeal to Heaven flag from the Justice's New Jersey vacation home. Capitol rioters carried that flag, too. The flag dates back to the Founding Fathers. Historians describe it as a call to a higher power to release the colonists from the British monarchy. Today, Christian activists and some Trump supporters use it as a symbol opposing the current form of American government. New York Times investigative reporter Jody Cantor broke these stories, and she joins me now. Jody, both of these flags in this case have variable other meanings. What do they mean in today's political context? They both become very highly charged symbols of January 6th and the Stop the Steal campaign. We all remember those sort of famous symbols of the Capitol riot, this sea of flags being raised to kind of protest uh, the fact that, that President Biden had won the election, alleging that the election was stolen. So the, the timing is very interesting. The first flag, the upside down flag at the Alito's Virginia home, that was uh, actually flying around January 17th. 2021. So that was a very charged moment. It was a few days after the Capitol riot. It was a few days before the Biden inauguration. The second flag I was surprised to hear about at first because it was two years later. It was last summer. And that flew for a much more sustained period, we think. We have photos of this appeal to heaven flag at the Alito Beach home in New Jersey. And this was in July in August and September of 2023, we're not sure if it was continuous. And so, Jody, why, let's think through the significance here. Why does it matter if a Supreme Court justice has these flags uh, at his houses? For two reasons. One is that it is just a bedrock rule of being a judge, especially a federal judge, that you are not supposed to display any political opinions. Neighbors in both places who saw the flags, looked up their interpretations, had almost a double take because they said, I thought judges weren't supposed to do that kind of thing. However, the even more sort of charged relationship is with these election cases that the Supreme and January 6th related cases that the Supreme Court has been handling. The first flag in Virginia was up at a time when the court was still dealing with a kind of lingering 2020 election case. And this second flag, the New Jersey flag, was up as as you know, there are two very important uh, Trump cases, Trump-related cases being decided now, both about January 6th, both about accountability. The first of those cases was already arriving at the Supreme Court last summer when this flag flew, and the second one looked like it you know, could possibly be coming as well. So we don't know exactly what happened here. Justice Alito wouldn't answer our questions about the second flag, but there are huge questions about what he really believes about the 2020 election and whether he is coming to these cases with some sort of bias. And it would also seem that a Supreme Court justice is affiliating in some way, at least, with people who want to operate outside of the Constitution. And he's a member of that constitutional system. Final question for you, Jody, is could there be any accountability or what's the next sort of step in this? That's the big question. As you probably know, the Supreme Court is supposed to be self-policing. By definition, there is no higher authority it was a bit of a struggle to even get the nine justices to agree on a code of conduct recently. There is a binding federal recusal statute, but they kind of apply it to themselves. And there are a lot of debates about whether Congress will do something, should they do something. We have a separation of power system. On the one hand, the court needs to be independent. On the other hand, each branch is supposed to check the other. Jody Cantor, investigative reporter with The New York Times. Thank you, Jody. Thank you.